Imagine if George Orwell wrote like this. In Moulmein, in Lower Burma, I was hated by large numbers of people. The only time in my life that I've been important enough for this to happen to me, I was subdivisional police officer of the town. And in an aimless, petty kind of anti-European feeling, it was very bitter. No one had the guts to raise a riot. But if a European woman went through the bazaars alone, somebody would probably spit Beetlejuice over her dress as a police officer. I was an obvious target and was baited whenever it seemed safe to do so when a nimble Burman tripped me up on the football field and the referee, another Burman, looked the other way. The crowd yelled with hideous laughter. This happened more than once in the end, the sneering yellow faces of young men that met me everywhere. The insult hooted after me when I was at a safe distance. Got badly on my nerves. The young Buddhist priests were the worst of all. There were several thousand of them in the town, and none of them seemed to have anything to do except stand on street corners and jeer at Europeans. The problem with this writing is obvious. There are no periods. There are no markers to warn the reader to stop, take a breath, and get ready for the next complete thought. Periods are not only a grammatical necessity, but a tool to create rhythm in your writing. Your mission is to take the following three excerpts and insert periods where necessary. Think, when does a complete thought end and when does a new one begin? When you're finished, compare your response to the original piece of writing. Good luck.